The legal problem is that I have a sin record that needs to be cleansed. That's why we are baptizing Jesus' name. For baptism in Jesus' name is for the remission of sins. It takes care of the record. There was a time on earth when in the book of heaven and all the court was standing for sins yet unforgiven. My name was at the top and many things below. I went into the water and said to long ago. And the record's clear today. For he washed my sins away. You must be baptized in Jesus. message. Men who heard it were convicted in their hearts. They said to Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? We realize that we are lost. How can we change this situation? Repent! Is that all? And be baptized. Who? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. Why? For the remission of your sin. What will happen if I do that? He shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. What guarantee do I have? The promise is unto you. Unto your children and to all the doors of our Folks, this gospel works. 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 The apostolic church must contend for the gospel. We must contend for the gospel. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I got a Pray for me. Let me come back. I was talking about Paul. I'm telling I want to read about Paul's life. I'm reading from the New Living Translation, 1 Corinthians 4, verse 8. He says, you think you already have everything you need. You think you are already rich. You have begun to reign in God's kingdom without us. I wish you really were reigning already, for then we would be reigning with you. Instead, I sometimes think, God has put us apostles on display like prisoners of war at the end of a victor's parade condemned to die. We have become a spectacle to the entire world, to people and angels alike. Our dedication to Christ makes us look like fools but you claim to be so wise in Christ. We are weak but you are so powerful. You are honored. But we are ridiculed. Even now, we go hungry and thirsty. This is Paul. We don't have enough clothes to keep warm. We are beaten and have no home. We are treated like the worst garbage. Like everybody's trash. Right up to the present moment. And we think the thing is about cars and houses and husbands Amen. and wives. And this apostle is telling us that I'm treated like trash. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. When I finish writing this letter, I don't know where I'm going to sleep tonight. I shiver in the cold. I don't have enough clothes to keep me warm. And we can't come to church if our toenail is broken. <laughs> Something is wrong. We need to preach the gospel. It's not about you. Touch your neighbor and tell them it's not about you. And you are in the knees. I 
and your little ones. Jesus is no celestial bellhop pushing your luggage around, taking you to your room, carrying your suitcases. Come on now. Paul had to kind of bring Timothy up and say, Endure hardness as a good soldier. Come on, you mama's boy. Grow up. Listen. 